Hi, I'm John with Fluidine, and today we're going to go over a couple of the differences between our Fluidine DOA valves and our original Vickers DOA valve. First thing you notice is our Fluidine DOA valve is a little wider from cover to end to cover end. Ours is uh, 12 and 7 eighths of an inch, and the original Vickers is only about 9 and a half inches wide. So if you have a space restriction, our Fluidine may not fit into it, so that's something you're going to want to check before you go ahead and purchase one of these. Um, other than that, uh, to go from an internal to an external pilot pressure and pilot drain, there are also some differences between that. The only thing that's common between the two is going from an internal to an external tank drain. So if you want to change them, both of them are going to be right underneath the where the T is on the pilot valve if you're not sure where they're located. So once you remove that pilot valve off there, it should be right underneath that port where the tank port is. And it's right in here. So if you want to go from, say, external to internal pilot drain, you're going to want to remove that plug. But if you need to go from an internal to an external pilot drain, you'll put a solid plug in that port. And again, it's the same on both for our Fluidine and for the Vickers. Just reference where that T is on the main, or the pilot valve here. And then right underneath there is going to be a threaded port for your solid plug. Now there is a difference if you're going to go from internal to external pilot pressure between the two. Our Fluidine uses a plug that's inside underneath this cover for the internal to external pilot drain or pilot pressure. So <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is reference on our Fluidine where this T is here and it's going to be the cover directly on the side of that. You're going to want to remove this cover and it is spring loaded so be careful. It's not under high pressure but again there still is a spring there and it's going to come out and make sure you don't lose any parts. So once you remove this cover, you will see a port down here on the bottom, right here. And what you're going to want to do is add a plug in there to go to external pilot pressure and remove the plug if you want to leave it at internal pilot pressure. Now for the Vickers, that's slightly different and there's a little more of a process to it. So on the Vickers, you want to find your, your pressure port here and underneath there on the inside, all the way down in the back, if you want to have internal pilot pressure, all you're going to have is an orifice plug that goes in there and the orifice size in that plug is a .061. So if you have a plug and you want to drill it, it's going to be a .061 orifice. And then you're going to want to have your X port over here wide open. Now if you're going to external pilot pressure, you're going to want to put a solid plug in here and then you want an orifice plug with the same orifice down here in your X port. And that will change it from internal to external pilot pressure. Other than that, both operation of both these valves are going to be the same. So that's how to change it from internal to external pilot pressure and a couple of the differences between the two valves. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel or call us or go online and chat with us live if you have any questions.